Hello and welcome. Today, I'm going to do a movie recap, regarding a 2008 mystery, sci-fi film, entitled, The Happening. Warning. Spoilers ahead. Enjoy the recap everyone. The film opens in New York. People start to get confused in Central Park, repeating their words, standing still, and sometimes walking backwards. We hear a few screams. A woman reading on a bench, takes her silver chopstick style hair pin out of her hair, and stabs herself in the neck with it. Meanwhile on a building site, workers on the ground are chatting, when all of a sudden a body falls. Panicked, thinking the worker just fell off the roof by mistake, they rush over to his broken body. While they looked over the body, another thud, another worker. They look at him confused, one is possible, two is unlikely, and when the third falls, it seems impossible. When they look up they see many running off the edge, apparently by their own will, looking completely calm, and sure of their actions. A science teacher named, Elliot Moore, played by Mark Wahlberg, talking about an event, where science can't explain about thousands of disappearing bees, no bodies left, no trace. A student shares his opinion, that this is a natural event that we will never fully understand. Several students start to speculate on the phenomenon, when Elliot is suddenly called out of class to a staff meeting warning about an apparent terrorist attack in New York, in which terrorists have apparently released some kind of gas in Central Park, and advising that, school is cancelled. As they leave, Elliot confesses to his friend Julian, a math teacher, that he, and his wife are having some problems. When Elliot gets home, he packs his things to get moving. While her wife, Alma, played by Zoe Deesgain, is getting repeated, an insistent calls on her phone from someone called Joey, and she lies to Elliot about it. Elliot and Alma, meets with Julian, and his daughter Jess, in the train station to flee Philadelphia. In Rittenhouse Park in Philadelphia, a breeze begins to blow. Suddenly everyone stops in their tracks. A gunshot rings out, and a cop drops to the ground. As blood spurts from a bullet wound on his forehead, a taxi driver gets out, walks over to the dead cop, picks up the gun from beside the body, and shoots himself in the forehead as well. A woman in high heels steps off the sidewalk, picks up the gun again, and we hear another gunshot. On the train people start to get reports by cell phone that, the attacks have been reported at their destination, and in many other places. The train ends up leaving Elliot, Alma, Julian, Jess, and all the other passengers, in a small rural town, as the conductors have lost radio contact with everyone else. At a diner, they see a newscast that, suggests the suicides are not caused by a terrorist attack, but by a natural phenomenon. A reporter says that, the toxin switches off the part of the brain that, keeps us from harming ourselves. Julian has by now lost phone contact with his wife, and starts to panic as some lady shows Elliot a video, showing a man walk into a lion's den at a zoo, and taunting the lions with his hands off. Elliot and Alma decide, along with everybody else, to flee for the state line with Jess. A nice couple, offer to take them in their car. While Julian finds a lift with some people heading to Princeton, and joins them to look for her wife, he the leaves Jess with Elliot and Alma. When Julian gets to Princeton, it is also infected. There are dozens of people hanging from trees over the road. The driver of the car crashes deliberately into a tree at high speed. While Julian, slashes his wrists with broken windscreen glass and dies. Meanwhile, Elliot, Alma and the nice couple, stops by first on their plant nursery to get some supplies. The man suggests to Elliot and Alma that, the toxin is produced by plants. He explains the way plants can release chemicals, to get rid of specific pests. While trying to reach the state line, they see bodies ahead in the road. Turning back they meet many other cars, all converging on a country road junction, all report bodies back the way they have come. Organized by an army private, they abandon the cars and strike out on foot, heading for a small remote housing development, it's new and small, and not on any maps except local ones. From the junction one group leaves immediately, but most take a minute to get things from their cars, so walking across the fields, they are in two groups. The smaller group, with Elliot, Alma, and Jess, is in front. Alma tells Elliot that, if they are going to die, she wants to tell him something. One night, when she had told Elliot she was working late, she actually went out with Joey from work, but that's all that happened. Meanwhile, the larger group, 
including the soldier and the plant couple gets infected, and the soldier becomes delusional. Elliot's group hears the gunshots one by one. Assuming they use the soldier's gun, to kill themselves. Elliot starts to believe that, it is indeed the plants, and that the toxin is triggered by, large groups of people. He yells at everyone to split up into smaller groups, and the group peels off into three smaller groups, all running away, in different directions. Elliot, Alma, Jess, and two teenagers find a show home for the new development. Elliot talks to a plant he sees blowing inside, and introduces himself, saying he is giving good vibes so it won't harm him. It turns out the plant is plastic, but he keeps talking for a little just in case. As they leave, they look back, and see two small groups of people arrive at the show home. That many people trigger the toxin, and they stand around confused, except for one man. He starts up a large commercial lawnmower, then lies in the grass in front of it, as it rips him apart. Our five people, all end up on the front porch of a boarded up house, asking for food, while Jess plays on a rope swing, suspended from a tree branch. The inhabitants of the house refuse to offer food or shelter. The two teenagers start to get very aggressive, kicking at the door, and shouting at the people inside. The inhabitants shoot the two teenagers dead, one through the chest, and the second through the head. A newscast discussing that, a scientist suggests that the toxin attacks, S will peak at 9 am the next day, and very quickly fall away. Elliot, Alma and Jess move on till they find an old house with no power, which they think is abandoned. A spooky old lady lives there, who chooses to remain out of contact with the whole world. She doesn't want to know about the event in the outside world, however, she gives them supper and a bed for the night. In the morning when Elliot tries looking for the old lady. But the old lady assumes that, he was stealing from her, and tells him that they have to leave. This region, it's not safe! Leave now! She then goes outside into the garden, pauses, and starts walking backwards, the toxin has affected her. As Elliot cowers inside the house, the old lady walks around the porch, and headbutts the walls, and eventually the window, leaving glass splinters in her face and eye, and also letting the toxin in. Elliot runs through the house, trying to find Alma and Jess. He can hear them, but can't locate them. He thinks he hears them in the cellar, but when he goes in he is alone. Alma and Jess are actually outside in an old stone spring house. A speaking tube between the spring house and the cellar has transmitted their voices as clearly as if they were right next to each other. He explains that the toxin now seems to be set off by even one person alone. Elliot decides that if he is going to die, he doesn't want to die alone. They all leave their safe hiding places and walk into the middle of the garden and hold hands. The wind blows, but nothing happens. They didn't know that, it had ended. Three months later, and they are all living back in Philadelphia. Jess is off to school by bus. The movie ends with a scientist in the TV warning that, the event was like a red tide, the first sign that the planet is rejecting humans as pests. The host says that, if that were true it would be happening in other places. Alma is doing a pregnancy test, and it's positive. Elliot hugs her and looks delighted. I hope you enjoy another episode of our movie recap. Until next time.